Hey guys, welcome to my short time channel. It's gonna be real key and casual, so. <laughs> Just kidding, we're all entomologists here to talk today about the Coolulist family <laughs> in Orthoptera. Um, so the family Coolulidae is a family of some bee crickets and they were discovered in Australia um, around 1980, so pretty recent, about 30 years ago, by Dr. David Renz. Um, they're only found in the northeastern part of Australia, and they're commonly called monsters, specifically the Kaluga monster. Kaluga crickets are typically tan, very squat and robust, and have a reduced monophylliform antennae. The mandibles are also reduced, and the forga is extraordinarily long. Females have short tarsi, significantly rounded abdomens, sclerotized tegmina, shallow eye sockets, and are a creamy white color. In contrast, males have short, light brown brachypterous wings, deeper eye sockets, and their tarsi have been observed to be sexually dimorphic, and are longer in males. These subterranean insects are soil dwellers. Females stay underground for their entire lifespans, and males only come above ground during rainy nights in search of potential mates. They feed on other soil dwelling invertebrates underground, such as cicada nymphs and other beetle grubs. They prefer sandy soils to burrow in with their spiny digging legs. Their behavior is actually pretty mysterious due to the fact that they spend so much time underground. In recent research, there have been some predictions of maternal care yet it has not been verified. Also, not much is known about their egg laying behavior. These insects are commonly described as monsters due to the fact of their strikingly robust bodies. They're endemic to the sandy coastal parts of Queensland, Australia. All four species of this family were found in southeastern Australia and discovered in the 1980s. Monophyletic with Jerusalem crickets, Kulula dingo, Kulula zojan, Kulula personae, Kulula propator are the four known species. Kulula monsters are the only genus in the family Kululidae of the superfamily Stenoplevatodia. So there's not much known out there about the mating of these insects as they are relatively new and there are not many species that have been studied or found. So our group has come up with a few theories based on mating habits of other crickets and the current behavior of cool monsters that have been observed. So number one, the males who stomp on the surface as they come out at night to search for females have a seismic sense that is picked up by fine hairs on their legs that are able to detect movement or thumping of the females who are underground. So this theory we based on the thumping of Jerusalem crickets, which kind of look actually very similar to the Kalula cricket. And we think that the underground females hit their bulbous abdomen against the ceiling of their burrow to signal the males that they are nearby. Similarly, uh, number two, the, uh, the males themselves will thump the ground with their legs, um, unlike Jerusalem crickets, which use their abdomen, since the Kula's monster's abdomen is reduced in males. Um, and so the males would thump the ground in some way, and the females would be notified and let the male know where she is in the ground. And third, there's a possibility of an auditory noise made by males or females, um, or maybe even both. So a hissing noise made by the female, which would be heard by the male from a possible tube connecting the underground burrow to the surface, or a hissing noise made by the male to signal to the female that she is nearby and to wait for her to reveal her location. Again, these are just theories that we have proposed as there's not much known about them, um, just based on what we were able to find and other crickets that are similar. <laughs> So what's so amazing about these crickets is how similar they look to other flightless crickets. They look really similar to the Jerusalem cricket and they have strange behaviors that we have yet to fully describe. This family only has four known species, but their ancestral morphology and phylogeny suggest more species are out there that could hold the key to bridge what we know about more common crickets that have wings and use stridulation to find their mates and how they came to be. T's and G's.